Hello YouTube and fellow cows. <laughs> uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I, oh well, clearly from the little picture you guys can see, I'm going to show you guys how to run or port forward a server, like the easiest way ever to port forward a server. So let me go straight uh, to the uh, application thing. So here's here's what you use. It's called Port Mapper, and it's like really easy. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click con wait, yeah, con connect. It says disconnect because I'm already connected. But uh, you're just gonna click that, and then it'll show up all the all your ports to your router. And so with this, uh, you can see all the ports. See, I already have the Minecraft one here, and you probably see like my Xbox one. I'm not sure what these other ones are, but <laughs> they're there, and your IP will be right here. I have it blocked out for you guys, so you can't get my IP. <laughs> but this will be your IP. You'll use this uh, later on when you set up your when when you want people to connect. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to uh, create. I'm gonna click edit because it'll it'll bring up basically the same thing. Uh, but it'll bring it'll bring up this screen, and then you're gonna click. You're gonna put in your description. Uh, remote host. You don't you don't need anything for that, so you can just leave that blank. Um, and then you're gonna just click use localhost. Uh, and that'll use the that's if you're uh, you're running it off your computer because that's gonna be like your IP of your computer and your network kind of thing. So you're just gonna leave that and that'll be like yeah. <laughs> and then you're gonna click add and you're gonna add. You can change this over here. I have both of these on because I'm not sure like I have you can set it up for both or one, but I have both set up because I'm not sure which one you need for Minecraft. So I set both of them up, but you can also. This isn't just for Minecraft, by the way. You can use this for any other thing if you know the ports to run for the servers, like Gary's Mod or Terraria or things like that. But uh, so you would just set the the ports here. You would set both ports as the same the same port that you want to use. I'm gonna take that out. And so that's this is what the Minecraft ports, the default Minecraft ports that I have set up here, so that you can get those. Or so then so that's that's what I have set in my Minecraft file as the what the, the server's gonna be running on. And then you would save it. I'm just gonna close it, and then you would click. You'd ha make sure it's highlighted, and click use, and it will use it. <laughs> it'll put it up here, and it'll, the port will be open. Now, what what's really good about this is you don't have to log into your router, so that's like really simple. Some people have trouble with that, and it's just really simple to set up. I will have links in the bottom for the the. The app application thing, uh, port mapper. Uh, it takes a few seconds to download. It's a Java script or Java little program thing. So you just run it and it'll, it'll just bring it up. Uh, if you guys don't know how to like, if you want the ser if you're gonna run the server and if you're gonna make it like, if it's just gonna be your friends, you can just use your IP here if you trust them. But make sure you put the ports at the end of the IP when you're giving it to them. And so just you can just use this. But um, if you're um, just gonna, well, I don't need know if you need the ports. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you need the ports at the end. Uh, but uh, you might be able to put it there just in case. I'm not sure. Uh, but if you want to make it public so other people can join, you don't want people getting this IP. This IP is not. You don't want to be giving this out. That's why I have it blanked. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna, um, sorry, <laughs> you're gonna use something like. Uh, no IP or I use this thing called DTDNS uh, that's just like it's an abbreviation for whatever the super long thing it is but it basically it changes the IP into like a fancy little name IP and it blocks people from getting your actual IP and so you can give that out to anybody and it's okay nobody can uh, get your IP so this will eliminate Hamachi and all that and it's really useful so I hope I was helpful if you got any comments or questions feel free to post and I guess that'll be all